Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be going over how I fix pasty butt with new chicks. This is a really common ailment that chicks get. Basically their poop just kind of piles up if it's not the right consistency. And while it's pretty harmless if it's taken care of, it can cause some pretty big problems if it's not taken care of. So I'm gonna show you the really simple fix that I like to use for all my chicks. So first I'll start out with supplies. Like usual, I have all supplies linked below. I like to start out just with a paper towel and then a disposable cup. It's very important that it is disposable. I'll explain why in a second, but I then fill it with lukewarm water. And of course, the last thing we'll need is the chick. Today's little chick is what I've been calling Rupert. I actually think even though I ordered a female, I think it's a male by some of the feathering. So we'll see, but here, no pun intended, is a look at the pasty butt. It just kind of looks like a crumbly, yucky mess on their little backside. So I'm gonna show you how I fix it. Rupert seems pretty chill right now because he's a little overwhelmed. He hasn't been taken away from the other chickens before. So after a minor freak out session, I'm just taking a little time to calm him down, pet him and make sure that he feels somewhat better than he did before. As you guys will see pretty quickly, he, he might look pretty sick, but really he doesn't act that sick with the other chicks. He's mostly just uncomfortable being in this new environment. In addition to giving him lots of pets and love, another thing I like to do is every time I interact with one of my chicks or chickens, I like to offer them a special treat. That special treat with us is pretty much always Grub Terra. They did partner with us on today's video. And the reason I like to give them a special treat is because I really like to condition them to look forward to human interaction and see it as a positive experience. So we keep a bag out by the chicken coop, we keep a bag inside, we, we pretty much always have the Grub Terra around. Okay, so next up, here is how simple the fix for pasty butt is that I like to use. All I do is I soak their little bum in some warm, not too hot, not too cold, just warm water. And I'll explain what to do next as well as what to be careful of and not to do. So when choosing a soaking device, I'm actually pretty particular. I like to have something that has a wide lid and that is fairly shallow. Today I'm using a disposable margarita glass because why not? Kind of my thinking was that the bottom little area would provide kind of a place for his legs. I don't know if it really worked that much better or worse than other cups I've used in the past, but I will link the exact cups that I've used and that I approve of for fixing pasty butt below. Trust me, you are going to want something disposable. You're not gonna wanna use something that you are gonna have to drink out of again in the future. As long as the water is the right temperature and your chick is fairly conditioned and just taught that humans are a positive experience, you'll notice that they usually tend to relax pretty quickly. Their body will relax and sometimes they'll even close their eyes and take a little nap. I will put on the screen exactly how much time elapsed for little Rupert's case here. But what I'm doing is I'm just kind of checking the pasty butt area. And what I'm looking for is to see some of the poop start to fall off by itself. So what you don't wanna do is you do not want to be scraping it off yourself. And I'll explain why in a second that can actually be a little bit dangerous. I wanna see it start to dissolve and then I'm going to take the paper towel. You should always have more paper towels on hand, but I'm gonna take some more paper towel and I'm just gonna agitate the area a little bit to make sure that as much of the poop is exposed to the warm water as possible. Again, we're just looking for it to kind of come off nice and easy. Little check here seeing that we're not making a whole lot of progress. So back in the bath he goes. It's always really important to be very slow and calm with chicks as much as possible. Slow, calm, gentle, that's the name of the game. They'll have little freak outs, but I find that they pretty quickly realize if you keep your level head, then they are pretty much trusting of most of what you will do to them. It is really important to treat pasty butt. It should never be left untreated because what can happen is it can actually inhibit their ability to poop at all. And then you can be looking at chicks dying from it, a pretty awful death. So that's not something that you wanna happen. It only takes a few minutes and it's well worth treating. So here, I'm just gonna agitate the area a little bit. As you can see, some of it's starting to come off. If you wanna wear gloves, you are welcome to wear gloves. If you are keeping chickens, just be prepared for the fact that you're gonna get chicken poop on you sometimes. I mean, that's just kind of the name of the game. So it didn't all come off, but you'll notice what I didn't do is I didn't start peeling it off. I'm just putting it back in to soak some more. So what you need to be really careful of is, especially with newly hatched chicks, there's oftentimes a little bump, which is where the 
I guess the equivalent of the umbilical cord. I don't think that's what it is in actual birds, but where the nutrients from the yolk would have attached to them, there's a little bump back there. And oftentimes that's kind of what gets pasty butt started in my experience is the poop getting stuck to that bump and then building up. So what you don't wanna do is start scraping because you could actually scrape the chick itself and that would be horribly painful, could create infection. Definitely not what you wanna do. So just allow the poop to come off on its own. Again, a little bit of gentle agitation here. I'm really not pulling, I'm being very, very gentle. And there you go, most of it came off right there. So it actually doesn't feel like it all came off, but what is left there is what I believe is basically the equivalent of the chick belly button. So you don't want to need it to be perfectly smooth. You definitely just wanna soak it as much as you need to and then let the poop dissolve. Then from there, some gentle wiping and agitation. Now, the next thing you wanna be very careful of is you don't necessarily want to put a wet chick back with the others. The first thing that could happen is the other chicks could be very curious about why this chick looks different. They could start pecking at it. And if you know anything about chickens, they can be horrible about pecking and actually cause some serious injuries that way. So I'm gonna dry little Rupert off here as best I can with the paper towel. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna give him a gentle, very gentle blow dry because I am gonna put him back outside with the other chicks. I could keep him inside or keep him in a separate area until he dries on his own. That would be totally possible too, but as you'll see in a second, I've found that chicks and chickens actually seem to quite enjoy a little blow dry, a little spa day. So nothing wrong with that. I just keep the blow dryer either on cool or warm and I keep it quite far away from them so it's not too powerful and you definitely actually don't want it hot on their skin. So you don't wanna do this too much because it could dry out their skin, but you know, once or twice in their lifetime, I don't see any problem with. The other reason we wanna do that is because we do not want him going out side while he is wet when it is anywhere near relatively cold. So as you can see, little Rupert is feeling much better now. He is quite exhausted from his ordeal, his alien abduction, as he will probably describe it to the other chicks. But I like to give him some gentle pets or if you wanna comfort chicks, I also like to use my hands and kind of try and imitate like a mother hen. I like to put it over the top of them and just kind of press down very gently, just allow them to feel secure and warm and like they're covered up and safe. Again, I always want any interaction with people to end on a positive note for any chicken, but especially for a little guy who may turn into a rooster. Now I'm just crushing up some more Gribtera because I am going to throw it in with the other chicks because I mean, hey, we gotta be fair. As you can see, little Rupert over there looks much better now that he's back with his friends. And my favorite part of giving them Grub Terra is always watching them flock over and go crazy for this stuff. So pretty quickly, everyone's over enjoying the special treat and Rupert looks much better than he did before. It's been about three days since I filmed this video and Rupert is doing perfectly well. He has not had any more pacey butt, but if they do have kind of an intestinal issue going on, it could come back. So it is important to check all your chicks, check all your chickens, but especially if there has already been a case of pacey butt, you wanna keep checking on them to make sure it's not coming back. And if it does, definitely wanna treat the pacey butt itself, but if it continues to come back over and over, you might wanna look into whatever is causing the pacey butt in the first place. Oftentimes though, if it's just a one-time deal, it is just caused by stress and sometimes no further action is necessary. Hope this was a little bit helpful. I linked everything for you below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.